Mm. And sometimes God has that peculiarity for you. We are not talking of spookiness. Mm. We are not talking of being weird. Mm. Or, or, uh, you know, defects, de yes. defects or yeah. deformation. No. Yes. But we are talking of uniqueness. Yes. Neither are we talking of character defects. Because no. people confuse mm. character mm. with um, personality. Yeah. Mm. We are talking of your personality. Yes. It's unique. You are supposed to be peculiar. A yes. peculiar people. Welcome again to The Saints and the Kingdom, a program that empowers you, the believer in Christ, to establish the kingdom of God through your world of calling. And this is hosted by the Joshua Generation. I'm here with my colleagues. My name is Ni Morakinho. I'm a trustee at the Joshua Generation. My name is Esther Morakinho. I am also a trustee at the Joshua Generation. Karibuni sana. Karibuni, my name is Susan Kibuka. I'm a Director of Administration at the Joshua Generation. And I am Eric Kibuka, Director of Missions at the Joshua Generation. And so we are continuing on this series on uh, gifts, talents, but today we want to talk of uniqueness. Mm -hmm. The place of uniqueness in personality, mm -hmm. in purpose, in gifting. You know, because uniqueness is a very important thing that helps you sharpen your axe. Mm -hmm. You know, we said, we read in, in Jeremiah, we are God's battle axe prepared unto is it, is it yeah. God's it battle axe, yeah. weapons of war, yeah. and his battle axe. Yeah. And he said, with us, he will destroy kingdoms, the yes. kingdom of darkness. Jeremiah that is. 51 verse 20, yes. thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. Good. So with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy the kingdom. Very important. Mm -hmm. And every axe has to be sharp. Mm -hmm. It has to be sharp to make quick impact. So use less strength to yes. cause. Yes. And you know, that's the same. Part of what sharpens us in the area of giftings, callings, purpose, personality, mm -hmm. is staying unique. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And by uniqueness, we mean something that is just different. It's rare. Mm -hmm. It's spectacular. Mm -hmm. It's not like any other. Mm -hmm. You know, they say that um, every human being has unique fingerprints. Mm -hmm. Amongst the 8 billion or so people on this planet, 7 and the billion. 7 billion, 7, mm -hmm. 7 plus, almost going to 8, mm -hmm. people are reproducing fast. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, but amongst the 7 or more billion people yes. on this earth, Mm -hmm. I'm the only one with this unique fingerprints. Mm -hmm. That's how rare I am. And that adds value to me. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, di diamonds are more rare than stones because mm -hmm. you can't just find them anywhere. Mm -hmm. And that's how it, every human being is unique. You are one in seven point something billion, mm -hmm. you know, and that's part of uniqueness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your personality is unique. Your mm -hmm. purpose is unique. Yes. Even the way your gift operates. Mm -hmm. Two of us may be pastors, but yes. our gifts operate have uniqueness. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a distinction mm -hmm. in, in, in the operation of the gifts. And, and you know, one of the things I've seen even in, um, in our nation, Kenya, our beloved nation, Kenya, is while you can be inspired to be diligent, we had talked about this earlier on, you can be inspired to stay, I mean, to, to have focus, you can inspire to work hard, but then to go and completely photocopy another person's business and, and try to do the business with the exact way, the exact uh, talent, the, uh, the exact uh, process, the person, it becomes tricky for you because you are not that person. Mm. You are whom God made you to be. Mm. And I am a strong advocate for embracing mm. your unique way God has called you. Mm. It's important to res uh, embrace that. Embrace mm. who God called you to be. Mm. Embrace your uniqueness in, in, mm. in, in the way God called you. Yeah. Actually, uniqueness 
it sets you apart from the rest yes. when you believe. You know, yeah, you society. know when you're talking about uniqueness sets you apart. You know, you mentioned the issue of fingerprints. All human beings have different fingerprints. Yes. The animal kingdom is the same. The zebras, the giraffes, none of them have the exact you know pattern yes. on them. I said, if God took time to do that with the animals, why w he gave us each of us unique personalities, unique giftings, and all that. But the moment I start trying to be a copy of another person, I begin to become irrelevant mm. because you don't need two people of similar uh, mm. gifting in an area nice. because one of them, yeah, one of them becomes irrelevant. And you cannot be mm. as good mm. as the original. As yes. the original. And you know, like you mentioned, once you don't see, your, don't realize the place of your uniqueness, you start losing your identity. Mm. And the moment you start losing your identity, mm. the truth is you, you don't have value anymore. Mm. The Bible says, uh, when talking about Queen Esther, that Esther chapter 4 verse 14, it says, don't you know you're here for such a time as this? But the question would be, Queen Vashti was yeah. also a queen. Mm. They were both queens. Mm. But why was she set apart? Because of her uniqueness, yeah. her unique call, her unique personality. And that identity of you, you look at in your area of uniqueness is mm -hmm. what begins to you know set you apart from the rest. You're yes. not in competition with any other yes. person yes. because the moment you discover uniqueness, yeah. the whole thing secure. of competition yeah. is not secure. there. Yeah. It is not like there. I you noticed will... when we were as young children, yeah. those children who seem to discover themselves early, they stood out like leaders. Mm -hmm. It's something uniqueness does yeah. to bring you into leadership. Yeah. Yeah. You set trends. You don't wait for somebody else to do something yeah. because you are secure. You know mm -hmm. who you are. Yeah. So you just wear your heart in it different way you know yeah. a colored heart is slanting yeah. and all the other kids begin to One do it two, yeah. it yes. brings out a leader because yeah. everybody is born to be a leader yeah. you just need to be developed yeah. so but happened? you are a leader yeah. in your area yeah. of uniqueness of calling call. mm. your uniqueness yeah. of purpose your uniqueness of gifting yeah. mm. if I go to play lawn tennis I'm not going to become a leader I wasn't yes. called there yes. the people who are called there are the leaders in yeah. that area yeah. but if I stay in my area I come out as a leader that, yeah. that trends around the world whether it is fashion, whether it is music, mm. whether it's in any area, government, mm. trends around the world actually set by people who embrace mm. who they are. Mm. They are bold. They are mm. courageous. Mm. They stay with their uniqueness. Yeah. They are not defined by other people, mm. but they are defined by what God has called them yeah. uh, to be. The Bible says in, in, in Isaiah that, that God speaking and saying that he called him you know, even from his own mother's womb, Jeremiah, so the yes, book of yes, Jeremiah, yes. sorry. 29, he called, him, yeah, he called him from his mother's mm -hmm. womb. Mm -hmm. So before, you know, before you appeared on the earth, mm -hmm. God knew exactly who you are. And that's for every individual. individual. You know, even if you become 10 billion or 20 yes. billion, there'll mm -hmm. never be anybody like mm -hmm. you. You know, that's, that's, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah. When we talk about uniqueness, it's mm. not it's not something far fetched. I have to go look for it. No, yes. no. It's your uniqueness peculiarity. Is something it's in it. Your, God your, already put yes. it within me. Yeah. All I need to do is to discover it. Yeah. Because I mean, God would be. The Bible says there is no partiality with God. Yes. Mm. So He didn't make some to be unique and then others to be just yes. others. Mm. And you know, I kept thinking about it. When we don't discover our, our true, when we don't discover our uniqueness, we don't live up to our true potential. We don't. Mm. Yeah. Because now Very I true. end up. Living my life, modeling my life yeah. after to him. try and yeah. be someone else yeah. that you are. So not. I put my own potential, uniqueness, grace, callings yes. Yes. aside. Yes. So I never live to my true potential yeah. and to your be, full yeah, potential. Yeah. You know, it's it's amazing that even mm. your personality is unique. Mm. Mm. You see, God has a unique purpose for everyone, and according to that unique purpose. He also has a unique gifting, or even the way your gift operates. Two people can have a similar gifting, yeah, yes. but they operate in two different ways. Yeah. It's a uniqueness. Mm -hmm. Somebody operates gifts of healing, he must be stirred up by music. Yes. The other one doesn't need music. Yes. He only smiles and people get yes. healed. Mm -hmm. So, you know, different. Somebody's gift of business is by just their appearance, mm -hmm. the way they dress, and people have confidence mm -hmm. in him. Somebody else is by his speech. Yeah. He yeah. talks and you get confidence he can yes. deliver. Yes. You know, and everything about us to our color, complexion, yeah. nationality, mm -hmm. Where you were born, your mm. height, mm. your complexion, yes. everything was your unique. Was unique for yes. your assignment. Yes. You know, God didn't make me an American. Yes. So I don't have to speak like as much as I respect yeah. people like TD Jakes, Benny Hinn, who are wonderful preachers in America. I don't have to be like them. Yeah. I don't want to be them. And you're not I don't disadvantaged. Want to speak. No, and I'm not disadvantaged. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't have to be insecure yes. if I was with them. I don't have to try and talk like them to impress them. Yes. No. I'm unique. God made me me. Mm. 
Christ. Mm. Just like we say Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Jesus is the Jew, yeah. the person. The word yeah, the Jesus person. also in Hebrew and means Joshua. It means Jesus. Joshua. Mm. Many people were called mm. Jesus. He was yes. not the only one called Jesus. Mm. Yeah. But he was the Christ. the Christ. Mm. Jesus the yeah. Christ. Yeah. Notice there is nowhere in the Bible, yeah. the Bible tells you to be Jesus. Mm. No. There is no such scripture. Mm. It yeah. tells you to be Christ like. like yeah. Christ is not his surname. Mm. It's the anointing yeah. and the anointed one. Yeah. So God wants Eric Christ, yes. Susan Christ, yes. Esther, Esther Christ, Christ Mimi Christ. Yeah. So I don't behave like a Jew. So I don't hate the, Jews. The I love them, yes. but I'm not a Jew. Yeah. I'm an African. Yes. Yeah. So I behave like an African, yes. speak like an African. Yeah. God yeah. doesn't want me to be a Jew for yes. him to use me. Yes. Mm. He wants me to be Christ-like. Mm. So Christ-like, I mean, Jews are our friends. We yeah. love them. But yeah. I'm not trying to be an American, yeah. a Jew, or anyone. I just want to be Christ-like. Yes. Yes. You know, he mm. wants me Christ. Yeah. I don't need to be Jesus. Yes. I need to be Christ-like. Yes. We've read the scripture over and over, but it's one of my favorite scripture when it comes to the area of uniqueness. Colossians 3.3 3, For ye are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. Hmm. Christ is the ultimate model for any individual human being on the earth. Hmm. Because you one, many people get frustrated trying to be me. Yeah. Trying to be Eric, mm -hmm. trying to be Susan, mm -hmm. trying to be Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. You will get frustrated trying to be those people. But God never called you yeah. to be. Mm -hmm. God never called you to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. God called you to be who God you called you to so be yourself. You don't need to change your skin complexion. No, you don't. Because no. you want to be like someone. And you will prosper and you will stand out when yeah. you know who God yes. called you to yes. be. I love that scripture in 1 Peter 2 9. Yes. It, it brings out some uniqueness to the believer, yes. though generally, but you can also apply it uniquely. It yes. says in 1 Peter 2 9, but you are a chosen generation, yes. a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar yeah. people. That's what happens when you are unique. Yes. You are peculiar. Mm. So this can be as a group. This can be as an individual. Yes. As a group, the Israelites were supposed to be peculiar yes. compared to the other yeah. nations yeah. of the earth. Yeah. Mm. And sometimes God has that peculiarity for you. We are not talking of spookiness. Mm. We are not talking of being weird. Mm -hmm. or personality. Or, uh, you know, de yes. defects or yeah. deformation. No. Yes. But we are talking of uniqueness. Yes. Neither are we talking of character defects. No. Because yes. people confuse mm. character mm. with um, personality. Yeah. Mm. We are talking of your personality. Yes. It's unique. You are supposed to be peculiar. A yes. peculiar people yes. that you should show for the praises of him who has called you yes. out of darkness into his marvelous light. Mm -hmm. I was thinking somebody may say there is no scripture for peculiarity yeah. in the Bible, mm -hmm. uniqueness. Well, here is one. Yeah. The Israelites were supposed to be a peculiar or unique people yes. compared to the other nations in the earth. Yes. And, and all that uniqueness should align to the word of God. I'm just thinking just to put a balance so that mm -hmm. uh, yeah. maybe someone doesn't go off and maybe uh, wants to become maybe a homosexual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the name of and then you say I want to uniqueness. be uniqueness yeah. and all that. The Bible that has gone beyond personality. That's gone to yes. character. Yeah. Yes, defense, yes, character yes. Defense. Uh, all uniqueness, the scripture you just read, it says that you should show forth the praises, the praises of him who called. So your uniqueness is to show is a manifestation and a side of God that is bringing, you're bringing out so that uh, we put balance in all so this. Yes. uniqueness mm. is not just by doing anything, yes. but your uniqueness, we're talking about your uniqueness in Christ. So yes. there must still be an alignment with the order of God, yeah. with that righteousness. And that uniqueness must show forth, forth God's praise. praise. Yes. Anything you say is unique doesn't show forth God's praise. Yes. It's not a godly uniqueness. 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 Yes. yes. And there's a difference between personality and character. That's mm -hmm. very important. Mm -hmm. Because some people have character defects. Maybe you get angry. You 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 are mean. Mm -hmm. You are stingy. You are not liberal in giving. Them. You say, that's my uniqueness. That's my personality. No, that's not your personality. That one has gone into, crossed into character. Mm -hmm. That's a character deformation. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Mm -hmm. That's not uniqueness of personality. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's why so we need to understand when we say uniqueness, then it's in your personality, it's in your purpose. Yeah. Even when you do a business, you don't have to copy what everybody on the street is doing. Yeah. You open a butchery, it doesn't have to be like the next butchery. Yes. Yours can be unique. Mm -hmm. Think even about John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. John the Baptist used to do his meetings not in the city. In the, in, the, in, the, in, the in the wilderness. Yes. Look at, look what we call the national park today. In the wilderness. <laughs> yes. and, and actually when you read the, the map, uh, it says, and 
people came from afar to meet him in that place. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even so his dressing, yes. even his yes. feeding, his dressing. Yes. eating yes. locusts, eating locusts and, honey. and honey, yes. wearing camel skin. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Very different from Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus did not duplicate his own kind of ministry. Mm -hmm. We see that a lot with many people. Yes. Duplicating head on. So everything just looks the same. Yes. Even in ministry and in churches and in businesses, in, business. yes. in every you area of calling. In area. One place, when you leave, where you went to start your own looks exactly, exactly like, like the other place or the same and, name. And I think that's in, in many ways it's an abuse to the nature of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because man was made in Genesis 1.26 in the image of God and after his likeness. Mm -hmm. And seeing that God himself made us uniquely, because he's unique. Mm -hmm. So when now we, you know, it's like step step down and begin copying what everyone else is doing, we are not utilizing that nature of God within yes. us. Mm -hmm. now God is creative. God is unique. Yes. Everything, I mean, even to the miracles of Jesus, yeah. he didn't heal people the same way all the time. Mm -hmm. It was always new ways, yes. new things. Yes. And just talking about our uniqueness of expression, even in terms of fulfilling purpose, that there will always be like the John the Baptist and Jesus scenario. Mm -hmm. We'll be Two preaching different the types kingdom of, of God. Yeah. Yes. We'll be influencing people for God. Yes. Yes. We'll be bringing out our goods and services, yes. but differently. You look at this one and you yeah. look at that one. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, it's like going to an Indian restaurant mm. and mm. eating African food. Mm. They're all food, mm. yeah. but they are different. Mm. Mediterranean food, mm -hmm. Chinese food. Mm. They are all food, but differently packaged, mm. and they will have their own different yes. target group. Yes, yes. But the impact, yes. you know, is for. Yeah. I love something Pastor Susan said in uh, about uniqueness. She said, even the animals, look at the zebras. Their stripes are not the same. Yeah. Mm. To somebody looking from afar, he may think, oh, they are all striped, but yeah. unique. Yeah. Their stripes are just like our finger mm. uh, prints. Unique. Mm. Every creature, every animal is yeah. like that. Even yeah. the rabbits. Yeah. They say every our director on this program, he he he's into rabbits. It's also yes, he rears yes, rabbits yes. and he says something he says yes. every rabbit every mm. rabbit is different in its mm. fur these yeah. patterns on the yeah. fur they are unique like fingerprints of mm. a human being mm. everyone god made everyone to be unique your yes. personality unique your your area of purpose and calling unique yes. your area of gifting, gifting even the way your gift manifests mm. yeah. two kings david and uh, solomon mm. but what they were called to do different, different yeah. david expands the kingdom through wars and gathers wealth but solomon builds with Af the mm. kingdom to affluence mm. and, and his, yet, his, his and call yet, as a king is different yes, from yes. Uh, yes. David. david so we can say they had two different agendas yes, in their calling of them were very critical in the history of, mm. of scripture yeah. Yeah. And in the history of, of course, the Jews. And, and in the, the greatness Jews. of the kingdom. And in the greatness of the kingdom. Mm. And, and you can't even and say And they that both stand out as one kings. One was better than the other one. Uh, yeah. Everybody was just unique in yeah. what they did. Yeah. And without one, the other one could not have played their mm. part. Mm. And it's very important to know that your uniqueness is a foundation for other people also mm. to mm. play their part. Because mm. when you don't play your part, it makes it difficult for other people to play their own unique part. Yeah. So, and, and when you look at it, you realize that you, it's like a, a big puzzle uh, a jigsaw puzzle where you find every piece in the in the jigsaw puzzle is unique mm -hmm. but if you do not have that piece that looks different from the other one mm -hmm. the puzzle cannot be complete mm -hmm. you know you know i'm, I'm thinking i'm yeah. thinking about it as mm -hmm. you say this someone one one uh, someone within the audience is mm -hmm. thinking all right so you know, how do I get to discover this uniqueness, this thing that makes me a leader mm. in my field? Mm. That I makes you valuable mm. in yes. society. You know, and I remember uh, some time back, um, is it in that um, someone had done a research about the stars, the galaxies, mm -hmm. and all that. And the person read a quote, he said, you know, we will you know, scale mountains, yes. we'll cross rivers, yes. we'll go to the greatest lengths to discover hidden things in nature, yes. but we don't take time to look inward mm. and look and see how did God create me? What's unique about me? Take time and to observe take yourself. Take time. Mm. Evaluate yourself. Take observe. inventory of yourself. Mm. Talk to God about yourself. Mm. Pray about Ask yourself. God. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Sometimes yeah. when you pray, intercede mm. yeah. for yourself. Yes. Yeah. Pray about God. Help me discover who I am. Yes. Yeah. My uniqueness of person. Yeah. Mm. My uniqueness my of gifting. My peculiarities yeah. that yeah. you made. Yes. You know, mm. And observe them. When you find them, you know, sharpen them. Yes. Yeah. And ask yourself what makes you stand out. Yeah. You know, yes. what, what, I mean, we might have certain things that are similar. Yeah. Uh, with Reverend Esther here, I'm yeah. light-skinned, she's light-skinned. Yeah. 
but still, there's still my own uniqueness, yes. you know, in personality. Yes. Yes. There's a reason why your physique is it is. There's a reason why you're tall. There's a reason why you're short. Zakaz was short for a reason. He needed to climb the scamo tree. Yes. If he wasn't short, there was no reason for him to climb any yes. tree. Yes. But everything about you stands out mm -hmm. by reason of your uniqueness yes. and is yes. designed, designed by god, god for your purpose yes. yeah. you need that uniqueness yes. to fulfill your purpose yes. so means you start putting off your uniqueness you lose your cutting mm. edge yeah. yes. uniqueness makes you valuable yes. mm. it makes you secure in yourself yes. yeah. it brings out your leadership position yeah. it brings you to the cutting edge mm. in society mm. it makes you more rare and mm. so therefore valuable yeah. in society yeah. Yeah. and you have to be secure in it and develop it Second mm. Timothy, uh, the chapter one in verse seven says, "For God has not given us the spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but of power and of love and of a sound mind." Mm -hmm. And and in order for you to come out and stand forth with your uniqueness, mm -hmm. you cannot be afraid. Mm -hmm. You have to be bold. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are saying that because very many people are actually afraid to be who God mm -hmm. called them to be, mm -hmm. even in righteousness. Mm -hmm. You 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 have this innovative creativity. You just sense, you know, there's an idea that I have. And that idea, I'm afraid that it will not be accepted because it's not the status quo. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll keep it to myself. Yet that is the idea that God wants to use for so many reasons. Yeah. God wants to use it to meet needs. Mm -hmm. God wants to answer your own need. Mm -hmm. God wants to use it to take the kingdom into another level to establish his rule and reign. Mm -hmm. But because of fear, mm -hmm. and you feel, no, I'll be criticized. Yes. Yeah. When you bring anything, but anything but peculiar, will be criticized. Mm. Anything peculiar, even in Christ, will be uh, criticized. Yeah. So don't be afraid mm. to be who yes. God calls you. Fear, okay. fear stops a lot of people from mm. bringing out their uniqueness. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, last word quickly, yeah. because we we need to uh, round, up. round up. My mm. last my last word on that, actually, I just speak from where uh, Reverend Esther stopped. Yes. In in uh, the place of being bold. Yes. Uh, and I just saw the picture about David. When yeah. David is going to fight Goliath, and his tools are unconventional mm. because that's his uniqueness. Mm. And soul, talking about the world system and others, good people plus bad people mm. will suggest to you. Yes. And soul say, no, 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 no. Take my armor. Mm. Take what is more socially acceptable. Yes. Take what is politically correct. Yes. But David refused. Mm. And I want to challenge you. Um, in as much as we take advice from people, yeah. gauge their opinions, yeah. but then don't throw away your uniqueness mm -hmm. and end up becoming like Saul. Yeah. Stand unique as a David. Yeah. That's what God has called yeah. mm -hmm. You know, the Bible talks about the path of righteousness, and in that path of righteousness is your uniqueness. Mm -hmm. Never try and cross over to someone else's mm -hmm. lane. Just like in a marathon or a relay or whatever it is, you don't try and enter someone else's mm -hmm. lane because you'll be two people competing. Mm -hmm. Remember, uniqueness sets you aside. Yes. It, it brings out your identity strong, yes. and within you are the solutions for the earth, but it lies also in your uniqueness. Wow. Yeah. We round up this episode, and I mm. believe you've been blessed. You've yeah. got something. And all these principles, you can apply them even where you are now. And listen to me. Purpose does not mean starting a business or something. Even where you are now, mm. even if you are working in, in someone else's vision or dream, you can still be unique there. You can still fulfill purpose there. You can still get your gift working there. Mm. Daniel, uh, the statesman in Babylon, and Joseph in Egypt were serving under somebody, but they fulfilled purpose right there. They brought out their gift, their skills, their uniqueness. So right where you are today, you can start using your purpose, uh, fulfilling God's purpose for you. You can start using your gifts and talents. You can bring out your uniqueness and stand out and stand as a leader in what mm -hmm. you do. Mm -hmm. And so from the Joshua generation, yes. I think we need to say here, yes. Thank, Thank you. Very Thank much. you. Yeah. We'll see you again. And please write to us. We'll yes. love to hear from yes. you your comments, what yes. you have to say. Yes. All our, our communication channels, yes. social media channels, phone numbers will be on screen. Yes. Please write. Tell us what you think of the program. Yes. If you are getting blessed, we'll love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Go and be everything God has called you to be and do everything he's called you to do. Thank you. Bless you.